All right, y'all. I wanted to record a quick video for those people who downloaded OBS 29 and 28 that don't really see the WebSocket plugin. So basically, if you're following along with a video and you downloaded 28 and 29, and it tells you that your WebSocket plugin, which is at the essentially at the top right of your screen. So I'm gonna just hold on. Let me do this real quick. Let me expand it and then we could talk about it. Click here. I expanded it now. So here at the top right, if you hit tools, you'll be wanting the WebSocket plugin here. And in most cases, if you downloaded 28 and 29, 27, you had to download it from another uh, site. And so when you do your upgrade, it's going to say your WebSocket plugin failed you would have to go into your control plan panel and delete it. And then when you come back into OBS and you look here, this is not going to be here. So what you want to do is hit help and then go to check file integrity. Once you hit check file integrity, it's going to basically ask you if you want to restart your OBS. Once you hit check file integrity, and you restart your OBS is going to look for broken files in your OBS. Once you do that, it'll tell you, ask you if you want to launch OBS. Once you launch OBS and you come back here, it'll have your WebSocket server av available and ready to go. That is just one fix that I found to having your WebSocket server for OBS 28 and 29. As y'all can see, I have 29. Uh, up and ready to go. So that's just a simple fix. Uh, for those people who are looking for the WebSocket plugin. And yeah, you could go from there. Thank y'all for watching. And with that being said, you say.